This is how you can make an image to text transcription command using your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or any other video on my channel, you can join a super or god tier subscription on YouTube, or you can get a god tier subscription on Discord. You can also get any of these three bot packages. They are fully coded Discord bot packages based on a specific topic. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested. And with that, let's go and get into the code. All right, so to start, we're going to go over to community and we're going to go ahead and do trans scribe.js to start we're going to get our slash command builder we can also get our embed builder and then we're going to do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get our discord.js package then we're going to go ahead and do module.exports and we're going to go ahead and open this up we're going to get our data and that's going to be our new slash command builder I'm going to go ahead and set a name and I'm just going to go ahead and make this image to text. I would do transcribe, but image to text is a little bit more transparent. Then we're going to go ahead and set a description to extract the text from any image and print it into text. And we're going to say choose one input option below. That's important. Then we're going to add two input options. One is going to be an attachment option with the name image attachment. And we're going to have a description of attach an image to scan. And then we're going to add a string option, which is going to be image URL. And the description is going to be use an image URL to scan. None of these are going to be set to required. If they don't provide an option, you're just going to have to catch an error. But this way, uh, they can either provide a image URL or they can upload an image directly. And then we're going to do async executes. We can go ahead and get our interaction and we can go ahead and open this up here. Within this, we can go ahead and start by getting our options. And we're going to go ahead and set that equal to our interaction. Then we can go ahead and do const image equals options that get string and that is going to be our image URL. We're also going to go ahead and do const attachment equals options to get attachment and that is going to be our image attachment. So now we get those variables we can go ahead and create our function so it's going to be send message. We're going to go ahead and get our message and our edit parameters. Within this we can do const embed equals new embed builder. We're going to go ahead and set a color and I'm going to go ahead and make that blurple. Then we can go ahead and set a description that is going to be our message. Next we're going to go ahead and say if edit. We can open this up. We're going to go ahead and do await interaction to reply. We're going to get our content that is going to be empty. We can get our embeds which is going to be our embed and we're also going to go ahead and set informal to true on that then we're going to go ahead and say else here and i'm actually going to go ahead and copy and paste this because it's going to be pretty much the exact same thing uh, actually this is going to be edit reply and then that is going to be reply and we can go ahead and remove the content so that's pretty much what we're going to be doing in that function uh, so it's going to be sending the message either editing that message or replying to a interaction so after we have that function we're going to go ahead and do if no image and no attachments then we're going to go ahead and return await send message and I'm going to go ahead and get a caution emoji and we're just going to go ahead and say you must use at least one input option uh, so that is going to be like if they don't provide any input options that just send the command uh, we're going to go and reply with that then we're going to do a wait send message and within this I'm going to go ahead and get a star emoji and we can go ahead and say loading your transcription and then we can go ahead and say this takes at least 10 seconds and it's actually going to probably take 15 seconds. The reason we're saying at least is because we are actually going to have a timeout set for 10 seconds before it can actually reply. So uh, it is going to take 10 seconds at the very least. Then we're going to go ahead and do const browser equals await puppeteer.launch. And by the way, I didn't define it, but you're actually going to go ahead and get your puppeteer. Um, so you can do const puppeteer equals require puppeteer up here. It's going to look something like this. I know it auto corrected, but that's what it's supposed to be. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and launch with puppeteer. We're also going to go ahead and set headless to false. Actually, for the tutorial, we'll just leave it like that. It doesn't really matter. Uh, if you want to see the browser do the actual action, go ahead and set headless to false. Um, then we're going to go ahead and do const page equals await browser dot new page just like that. So after we get that, we're going to do var response and we can do set timeouts. We're going to do async and we can do an empty function and we're going to go ahead and open this up with an arrow function. And this we're going to do if no response, then we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to go ahead and do await send message. I'm going to go ahead and get a caution emoji and we can just go ahead and say there was an error completing this request. This might happen for a number of reasons, but we're just going to go ahead and reply with that. And we're also going to go ahead and set edit to true. Then we're going to do await browser.close just in case it's not already closed. And we might actually go ahead and catch an error because if it's already closed, we can't close it twice. So we'll just catch an error. Uh, and then for the timeout, that is going to be 30,000 milliseconds. So it's going to be 30,000 just like that. All right. So after we do that, we're going to do a wait page dot go to, and we're going to get a URL. This is just a very basic text to image converter. 
this is what it actually looks like here. You basically enter a URL and then you submit it and then it converts your image to your text. So that's basically what we're gonna be web scraping here. Uh, then we're gonna go ahead and do const button. We can do equals and we're gonna go ahead and get a very specific ID. So it's gonna look like this. It's gonna be hashtag toggle by link. Then we're gonna do await page dot wait for selector. And that's going to be our button selector. So we're gonna wait for the button. We're gonna do await page dot click. And we're gonna go and click on the button once it's available to click on. Then we're gonna go ahead and get our input selector. Uh, so it's gonna be pretty much the exact same. Uh, this is going to be hashtag and then it's gonna be input URL. So that's gonna be the input ID. And we're gonna do var inputs. We're gonna run some logic here to check to see if we're using an attachment or an image URL. So to do that, we're gonna do if, and we're gonna go ahead and do attachment. In this, we're gonna go ahead and set our input to our attachment.url, and then we can just go ahead and say else, and we're gonna go ahead and say input equals image. Uh, so for me, uh, the preferred option is going to be the attachment. So if they do provide an attachment and for some reason they use an input uh, URL with the string option, then we're just going to use the attachment because that's the preferred option. So next we're going to do a wait page to wait for selector and we're going to go ahead and get our input selector. Then we can go ahead and do a wait page dot type and we're going to go ahead and get our input selector variable. And then we can actually go ahead and get our input variable as well to get that text. Then we're going to do a wait page dot keyboard dot press and we're going to go ahead and get enter. We're reason we're doing this and not clicking the submit button is because the submit button has a captcha if you just press enter it does not have a captcha so it's a little bit of a workaround then we're going to go ahead and do const text equals and this is going to be another id this is actually the id of the div that holds all of the uh, text from the image that it transcribed so we're going to get that id and we're going to do a wait page dot wait for selector that's going to be our text. So we're waiting for the text to come in. Once it's in, we're going to go ahead and set a timeout. So we're going to do an async function. Once we're in this, we can go ahead and do var and we can do e text. So extracted text equals await page dot money sign eval. And we're going to go ahead and do text comma element. And we can do arrow function element dot text content just like that. So now that we've done that, uh, we can actually go ahead and come down here. We're going to do await browser dot close. We no longer need that browser because we already have the text saved in a variable. Next, we're going to do etext equals etext dot replace. We're going to go ahead and get extracting text, and then it's going to be 0%. So it's going to look like that. Um, and then we can go ahead and say no text found in this image that I could transcribe. Then we're going to go ahead and say media attachments from Discord do not work for this. Try using the attachment option to upload your image instead. Uh, so basically what we're doing there is um, if it's left at this, there's going to be an error on the screen that says could not transcribe your image. So that's going to be the resulting text. So in other words, um, we're just going to go ahead and return that and edit that text out and say there was an error. Uh, then we're going to go in and write out our embed. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder. We're not using the send message function because this is going to be a different embed. We're going to set color to blurple. Then we're going to go ahead and set our title. And I'm going to go ahead and get a globe emoji. And I'm going to go ahead and say image to text transcription. Then I'm going to go ahead and set an image here. And that is going to be our input variable. Now we're using the input variable and not anything else. Then we're going to go ahead and set a description. And I'm going to go ahead and do our e-text. And finally, we can set a timestamp just like that. So now we're going to do a wait interaction to edit reply. We're going to go ahead and get our contents. We're going to edit that out. And we're going to get our embeds, which is going to be our embed. And I guess we don't really need to set informal to true because it's already going to be set to true. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and set response to true. And we can also go ahead and set our timeout. This is going to be 10,000 milliseconds, which equates to about 10 seconds. So that's going to be how that works there. The reason we're using this response variable is right up here with our response variable here. We check to see if there's no response after 10 seconds or technically after 30,000 milliseconds, which is 30 seconds. So after the maximum time, the browser is actually going to wait for one of these selectors. It's going to check for this. And if there's been no response, it means there was an error. So we just send that message. And then obviously if there is a response after the 30 seconds, we either got an error in here or we actually have our transcribed text. All right, so with that, we are actually done with this entire command. So let's go ahead and save the file, restart the bot and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we're actually gonna go ahead and test this out. I'm just gonna go ahead and run two things. The first is going to be getting a thumbnail from a recent video. So we can just use a thumbnail. This is going to be the starboard thumbnail. So the text we should be expecting is starboard system. And then there's some other text in there that we should be expecting as well. So let's just go ahead and send it. 
So as you can see, it's going to go ahead and say loading your transcription. This takes at least 10 seconds. Behind the scenes, what happened is it opened up a headless browser. It's typing that image URL in. It clicked enter. And now it's waiting for a response. And once it gets a response, obviously it's going to send it here. But like I said, we do have a timeout in the code that makes it take at least 10 seconds. Here comes our transcription here. So it actually transcribed the stars, which is pretty interesting. Um, but... It actually got very, very specific, which I'm kind of surprised on. This is very, very small, as you can see, when it's like this. It's very small. You can barely see any of that text within the example screenshot. But somehow, it got pretty much every single piece of the text. Now, obviously, some of it isn't 100% accurate, but uh, it did do a pretty good job for something that's so hidden behind the uh, actual text. So now let's go ahead and try this out with a little bit of different uh, text here. So here I have a screenshot of the code in my notes. So let's go ahead and copy the link and we're going to go ahead and test this out. So we're actually first, let's just go ahead and send it. As you can see, we get an error. So I just wanted to show that. Then we can go ahead and test this out. Let's get our image URL. We can go ahead and send it. It's going to say loading your transcription. However, because I used a media uh, link for this, as you can see, that's a media and not a CDN. Uh, it's actually going to give me an error. And you'll see that in a second. It will give me that edited in message. As you can see, it's going to say no text found in this image that I could transcribe. For some reason, every single media uh, image that I've tried has not worked, even if it's the exact same image that I upload or use a CDN with. That being said, if you do get this error, try downloading this image and then re-uploading it as an attachment. Usually that makes a difference because... Uh, like I said, the media uh, does not actually work for this. So if you upload it as an attachment, it will use a CDN, which should actually end up making a difference. I do want to test one more thing, though, because it didn't work for media. I want to show you that it is actually going to work for a different type of attachment. So I found some random image online that has a bunch of text. Let's go ahead and copy the image address. Then let's go ahead and go to our image to text command. We can use our image URL and we're going to go ahead and send it. It's going to load our transcription. That is probably going to take a long time. But... This is an image search and not a media, so this should actually be able to successfully transcribe, uh, whereas if we were to put it in a media, it's not going to work, and I'll show you that in a second. So as you can see, we get our transcription perfectly fine, it works great. So now we should be able to copy this link, but I actually don't know why it's not a media attachment, but uh, we can actually go ahead and try this one more time regardless with that link to see if it ends up working. Um, but every single time I've tested it with a Discord media app attachment, just like this one here, I want to keep emphasizing it because it actually has not worked. So um, some Discord links work like the CDN one, but uh, the medias do not. So that's just a pretty big point of emphasis here. But as you can see, uh, that was pretty similar to a media link and it did not find any text in the image, um, even though it's the exact same image we just used here. So I don't really know why it does that. It's a little bit strange. It's the exact same image, but uh, this image has text and this one does not. So yeah, I think that's just Discord's uh, image for some reason. So that's how you can make an advanced image to text transcription command using your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.